everyone. Uh, we're Freckled Heart. I'm Libby. Kylie. And um, we are part-time resellers on eBay, full-time sellers on Etsy. And um, if you're new to our channel, welcome. If you're old to our channel, thanks for coming back. Old to our <laughs> channel? If you're already a subscriber, we appreciate it. You know it. what I meant. We appreciate it and we love you guys more than you know. Yes. Um, we do a lot of unboxing videos, jewelry, handbags, clothing, kids shoes, adult shoes, tons of different stuff. Um, we started doing this a couple months ago, uh, mother, daughter. Uh, she does freckled heart on Etsy as well. Well, I do it too, but she makes the jewelry, I ship it and all that stuff. Um, if you like anything that you see on any of our videos, you can email us at freckledheartdesign at gmail.com and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, any of the stuff that we have in the videos usually is listed on eBay under Freckled Heart as well. And if you don't see it on there, we may have not listed it yet. So you can absolutely email us and we will let you know. Today we have a special unboxing that we've not done before. This one is from Jomar. So I I don't know what that is. Yeah, she doesn't know. I've heard a lot of different things about Jomar. Some people love it, some people hate it. So we shall see. We uh, I grabbed this vintage purses box probably at least six weeks ago, and it finally got here. So. We're gonna open it up and see what's in it because I really don't remember. All How I much was it's, it? I don't know. Hopefully, there's an invoice in there because I can't remember. It was so we long don't ago. keep track very well, you know. It was too long ago. You gotta push that down. There you go. You gotta be smarter than this. I'm not smarter than this. Here, give it to me. No. Shell purse. And they move. Yeah, I don't think they're supposed to. They're supposed to be <laughs> glued on there. And it's missing some uh, ribbon here. This is like uh, plastic rattan, <laughs> plastic straw. Um, so this is kind of a cool little thing. You know, this is like an acrylic, which is really cool. You can see the color. Purse. Oh, it's very unique. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad inside. Oh, it smells so musty in there. Yeah. They might all because they're vintage, so. Princess Charming by Atlas, Hollywood, Florida. Made in Hong Kong. Hmm. So that's what it looks like. I love the It's a cute little acrylic purse for like there. a beach town. Like so it's not in terrible condition, except the biggest problem is that these um, 
you can see the glue right there and the there you go see oh, like the goodness. little shells are moving so I don't know we'll see well it's missing let me see it's this missing is, some ribbon so if somebody is, wanted to like take these out fix this yeah staple it back down and put some new ribbon over it they see, could absolutely these shells are broken here mm -hmm. yeah it's interesting okay I was checking if it's a pocket, oh, mom. I'm not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but give me, give me some credit. Okay, so this is a cute little, little handbag. It's got like a. Some kind of. It's just like it's not really snake skin. With like pattern. What would you call it? Like a scaly pattern. It almost looks like a mermaid. Yeah. Like it's just fish, scaly fish pattern scale. on it. Um, gold and silver, little locking mechanism up front. That's kind of cute. It's got garbage in it. <laughs> it's just one big pocket inside. It looks pretty good. It's dirty, needs to be clean, but it's fine. Small pocket. Doesn't smell bad. Doesn't really have any tag on it. So whoever had Nothing. this before, like, took the tag off. So I don't know what kind of purse this is, but it's in good condition. The bottom looks good. The locking mechanism definitely has wear on it. You can see the gold plate is coming off around the lock. Mm. Yeah, inside looks good. It just needs to be vacuumed out. So it's a cute little purse, though. That doesn't say who. It has said. nothing. Nothing. Mm -mm. This is like a little satin one that has some rhinestones on it. It's got a little. I don't know if it was somebody had it probably in a um, antique store or something. Um, it's cute. It's missing a couple rhinestones here and here. But um, it's really dirty. So, it's dirty inside. I mean, parts of it, that's like rusty. Well, maybe that's glue. I'm not sure. This should open farther. It's very stiff. Doesn't really want to open as much as I'd like it to. But um, very stiff, very dirty. You can see. I don't know if you can really tell in this, but it's much dirtier here than where the flap is. But this is super dirty. Alright. I don't know about this. This one's cute. Yeah. It's new. I was going to say, I don't think it's vintage. Maybe, but where's it made? Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. It's a cute little beaded front of the bag. Oh, it's the car. Okay, so it's got a little handbag strap, and then it also has a crossbody. Oh, that's cute. Um, it's made made in China. Yeah. This isn't vintage. This is definitely brand new. It has tags on it still. Um, it's by Member. This is a brand new bag, never been used. Tag's still on it. Very clean. No missing beads, no flaws at all. Yeah, this is not a vintage bag. <laughs> it's cute. Very cute. And it's like a little, it's a really cute, like, going out on the town kind of. Yeah. With like a little black dress or whatever. Yeah. So this is interesting. It's like a little patchwork hmm. one, and I don't know who this is. This tag. This little. I guess that's how you hold mm -hmm. it. That's the little handle. Cute. And then it's got this little kiss lock or kiss clamp. 
says Sewing Bee, New York. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of cute. These are all super dirty. They need to be washed badly. Black and purple paisley. It's um, black and brown. What the hell is it? It's like brown. Maybe it's, it's brown. It's hard to yeah. tell. What is this fabric? It's like a velvet. Okay. Little clutch bag. Ooh, you can see that very well. There we go. It's got the paisley pattern. Needs to be dusty. It's gross. It needs to be really cleaned. It has a little magnetic, or not magnetic, um, so fast. Yeah. Pull it on. Yeah, this isn't, this is isn't that, vintage. Who's that made by? Banana Republic. And it has tags on it. Okay. What is going on here? I don't know. It's a little bullet. Okay. Brand new. This is a little suede one with this cute little clasp. It's acrylic on here. Oh, it does have like a little crossbody strap, but I don't know how that would go on there. Um, I don't know how that would go on there. I'm not really sure. So this is just one big pocket. Uh, I don't see, oh wait, who's it made by? Uh, R-E-G-H-I in Italy. I don't know what this is for. It probably broke off. Where? This has a little, oh, that could be. Yeah, maybe. We're never ordering this again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it would go in there. It doesn't have anything that it no, clamps onto. No, it looks like the piece came off that it was connected to. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because it's got this small loop on the end. Yeah, but this so, is a hinge. I understand that, but I'm saying there's probably a pin that goes in here that mm -hmm. this is supposed to be attached to. I don't know. It doesn't really look like it, but I don't really know. It's kind of dirty. That might come off. We'll see. Okay. We're not ordering this ever again. No. A little beaded purse. Super cute. Looks good on both sides. There's no like missing beads anywhere that I can see. And what do you call this lock? A kissing Kiss lock. Kiss lock. Mm -hmm. This is a little like coin purse very dirty needs to be cleaned really bad mm, made in France is the only thing this says looks like it was handmade super cute though there's some wear on here obviously this is older so there's some staining and stuff inside it as well but it's a cute little bag. Cute little oh, thing. Like, no, it no, no, says so. made in France. Okay. This is interesting. It's broken. I know that. I'm getting there. <laughs> so big. Well, these are seed beads. That a big part of them is off here. But the biggest problem is that the handle is broken totally clasp is a mess this is like a velvet it's a cool bag if it wasn't broken by uh, I don't even know how to say that Joel's J-O-L-L-E-S original is what it says yeah the inside looks good it's good you know some junk in there. Oh, there's a stamp. 
Oh wow, that's uh, where's that from? That's not from here. Cooperative. Oh, it's a discount stamp. Kind of like a, kind of like a green stamp, but not exactly. That's pretty interesting. Oh wait, what's this? Uh, gold square trading stamp. Huh. All kinds of good stuff in there. I don't know. Um, all right, well, this would be cool if it wasn't all broken. Another beaded purse. What are these beads called? Oh, they're like little seed beads. They're tiny, 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 tiny beads. All over it. It does not look like any are missing, which is pretty good. It's got a cute little clasp on it. Flips up and open. Someone stuffed a bunch of paper in here so it didn't lose its shape. Dirty, but this is a vintage bag for sure. It's dirty. It says... Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. Oh. Made okay. in France. Well, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Well, we got one good it's one. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. It's got some wear for sure because this is an older bag. Oh, look at that clasp. Yes, yeah, isn't that a cool clasp? Yeah. That's really pretty. But that's a cute bag. Yeah, that is. And it's just got a little... Little yeah. hand strap. That's very cute. I it's like a delicate chain. That's cute. What the heck is that? Gross. Is there any marking? Taiwan. Okay. Stryker Family Reunion. Oh, look, this is her name. Oh my goodness, there's like a whole big note about just some lactate. <laughs> the previous owner left us some stuff. Oh my gosh. There's some pills. Melted candy. Do you like some candy? Oh, look. Yummy. Some floss Floss things. A whole bunch of toothpicks. Oh, my God. This is just, I mean, like, a whole bunch. Like, not just one. They all have lipstick on them, too, by the way. I guess we can get DNA off them if we need to. Uh, there's verdigris on that. What's that mean? Uh, verdigris, if it gets like on your, um, uh, like jewelry, it eats away at the jewelry and it can get onto other jewelry. It's really nasty and it's very hard to get off it. I doubt we could get it off. Hmm. So, is um, it like a bacteria? What is it? I don't know. I think it grows on places that get either wet or get like, um, maybe skin cells or some kind of uh. food or something in there and then it just yeah. It eats the metal. Oh. So, uh, this is a mess. Totally. Look at it. This is... It's gray and it's supposed to be white. And it's not leather. It's just like some kind of vinyl something. And there's no, uh, there's no name on it or anything. And it is, like, beat. Like, I'm talking beat. Supreme and genuine leather lined. It's broken. Oh, it's broken. Wow. Here's one. 
looks all fine, right? And then it's broken. Cute lock. It's one big pocket. Has one po small pocket here and then a zipper pocket there. And it says Supreme Genuine Leather Lined. So it would be cute, but it's broken back here. Still cute if you can fix that. It's got a little wear on it. It's definitely a genuine per or genuinely vintage purse. It's got some beatings to the lining. But it looks it still looks cute. It's a cute bag. It's got a little uh, shell has like little shell beads all over it. Other than that, it's just like a little cotton, disgustingly dirty purse. Mm. But it's just got all these shell beads sewn on all through it. And, and then it's just got a little snap closure up there. Oh, Express. So vintage. Made in India. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's just a teeny little purse. It is filthy, filthy, filthy in there. Get our money back for this. Yeah, I have no idea on Jomar, but it's heavy from all these little things, but yeah, it's, I don't know. That's what it is. I doubt this is vintage, whatever it is. It says bueno. says bueno inside. That's the only thing I can find. I'm trying to get an angle on that so you can actually see it, but I don't think this is a vintage anything. And it's got a small little coin pocket in the center. Another pocket here. And then a zipper pocket on the outside. It's got discoloration because it's supposed to be like this tan yellow. It's got some black back here and throughout here. Mm. The front looks okay up close. It all looks okay, but the back has that black on it. It's just got the cla normal clasp on it. Did she leave me this one on purpose? What one? I left it because it was red. Oh! <laughs> I think they like bought cast offs from Goodwill and put yeah. them in here. That's what it looks like. Okay, well, I think that's what color it's supposed to be, like maybe in there. And then now that it's this color, it's gorgeous. Huh. It's disgusting, but no, look, it's a surprise. Oh, look! Oh, look at all the good stuff that's in there. Oh, we have a, a broken comb pick and some napkins and um, re elect Berlin Huntington Town Board. I might save that, and maybe that's worth something. Mm -mm. Um, here's some little what are these called? Oh, that's Makeup. from the pick. Oh. It's from the pick. Oh look! Toothpick! It's another toothpick! That one's not used though. No, at least that one's not used. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Anything? Oh yeah. Let's see. We have... Uh, isn't that the same name? Yes. Same name as this. Yeah. Two okay. purses. So the two purses with stuff in them are from the same person. Yeah. These are from New York. Oyster Bay Fashions Limited. That's who owned these purses. 
Oh look, we I think we have more lactate. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, more lactate. Okay. And a whole bunch more toothpicks. Gross. This is freaking ridiculous. Yeah, it's like living with your husband. He likes toothpicks too. This but he doesn't is, leave them around. Like <laughs> this is the crossbody that goes to it, and I think this probably is vintage. Just from oh, but it's broken. Yeah, it's oh, totally broken here. See, she probably has all these vintage purses, and then these were broken, so she took them to Goodwill, and then Joe Mar picked them up and gave them to me. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, this hinge is totally broken. So we're never gonna do one of these again. Wow. Because this is just a bunch of junk, junk, broken and full of garbage. What is this? I think that goes with this because it has the same lining. Look, it's like moldy. Yeah, it has the same lining. So I think it goes with this. It's a little, uh, it's a little mirror, but it's so gross. And I know old mirrors kind of get like that, but this looks like moldy instead of just like, ew, it's just disgusting. And I think it goes with this little bag. That could be. It has the same fabric. Yeah. Okay, did we get 15? This one's cute. This is the only one I think I like. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three, trash. Four trashed. Five. Maybe. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. nine ten. ten eleven, eleven. Twelve. twelve. 13, 14, 14, and 15. Okay, So this was a bummer. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm this again. Yeah, and, and you know what? I've seen a couple other people who unbox these who got some really cute things, vintage things. This is like somebody's junk, mm -hmm. like literally. There's a couple cute ones in there, but most of it's just trash. Which is probably why it took them six weeks to send it to me. They just picked through the trash. Yeah, a real crafty person can fix this. You can remove all of these staples, open this yeah. up, change out this one because it's broken, fix the ones that aren't glued, pull it back over and put some lace on it or ribbon or whatever you want to. So this can be fixed. This one's actually okay because I think it's actually a cute idea. It is, and I like the acrylic on here, and I and it, the it's inside's in great condition. Yeah, I mean, so this one's a cute one too. I don't know how I'm much you can sell it. it for though. I know, but I'm not mad at this one because it is cute. No, I am unique. No, I'm mad at the ones that are totally trash. That yeah, yeah, and the ones that are brand new. Like, yeah. How is that vintage? That aren't vintage. Oh, oh well, what are you gonna do? I don't think I'll be buying from Jomar too much anymore. So. Bummer. There's only one way to learn, right? So. Okay. Thanks for joining us, guys. Sorry it was kind of a bummer. I um, appreciate you stopping by, though. Yeah, and, and say what's up. Please like it, even though you probably don't like it. Don't give Even us though it's not down. a great lot, you can still give us a thumbs up because right. we did our best <laughs> exactly. with what we had. Um, oh. Anyway, we appreciate you guys so much. Like, subscribe, comment, email us, all of the above. Thank and you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us again. Yep, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.